Andizing is pretty simple from what it looks like. Um, baking soda, water, distilled. Mix it together into a solution. Um, make it until you can't see the baking soda in there anymore. That's just so that you can actually get the andizing going. And then have like a bath cup just of like regular distilled water. And then some kind of cleaner. I saw this on Blade HQ. They recommended this. Um, I might try rubbing alcohol for the next set just because, I mean, as you'll see later, it doesn't come out super perfectly. So what I might do is rubbing alcohol and then this on top of it. Gloves, just so you don't get your fingerprints on everything. Batteries, I did three just so I could get that blue color. Blue's my favorite color, so that's what I went with. Um, you can go up to, I think, 120 volts is max. Um, it'll start with bronze and go up through the color spectrum and then end on purple. A piece of titanium wire. You can get this five feet for like three bucks on eBay. I can leave a link in the comments for that. Uh, and then two alligator leads. I only went with black and red just so I know what's positive, what's negative. It can be any color. I mean, you can buy this multi-pack at Harbor Freight for three and a half bucks and it comes with I don't know probably 10 of them so don't worry if you don't have those on hand right away and then obviously a screwdriver set to disassemble whatever you're going to be taking apart and that's pretty much everything extra stuff is just some paper towels and then tin foil to make your negative lead and that's everything you'll need to do this at home I'm literally doing this in the garage so this is my anodization stuff Right now we're anodizing parts of a Tucson pen. Just anodize this cap in the clip. So these are freshly anodized. And I just anodized this pocket clip from some big titanium knife. Next I'm gonna do this part. So first thing we've gotta do is clean it off with some simple green. And then we'll dump it into some water and then we'll throw it in the anodizing bath. <laughs> Not a real professional setup we're going to be using nine volt batteries here so i'm going to be plugging three of them into each other so i can get this same kind of glossy blue um and let me say these were both done with the same amount this was a matte titanium this was a glossy titanium so obviously the brush is going to have a like brighter blue color oh, if we can see it here it's a little bit nicer this one has more of like a purple finish to it from the mat. So this will probably end up looking like this. So now we're gonna hook these three up to each other and then all the alligator clamps up. And then we have to have two leads. So this is gonna be our negative, which will stick in there, obviously attached to the negative lead. And then this titanium wire, if I can find it here, going to be connected to a positive as you can see it's already been anodized because it's sitting in there so that's what you'll attach this to so let me set this stuff up and we'll pick back up all right so what we're going to do is going to attach these so obviously you're going to go negative to positive and then vice versa and it's going to be in series so now we're going to be pulling 27 volts out of this that's what's going to get you your color um, for every amount of pack that you do you'll get a different color starts with bronze and ends at purple so look at a chart, reference that, see what color you're going for. Right, so negative to negative. And then we'll connect the positive after. Um, this solution here is made up of very, very simple distilled water. Remember distilled, not purified because there's nothing in it. And then baking soda. And that's really all that it takes. So. Hook this guy up. Drop it in our solution. Right. So for this, because we're going to be doing a pen, obviously I have to be able to fit it in it. So we're going to shove it down through and go this back a little bit more now you don't want this to rest up on the titanium too much because that won't be anodized correctly so as you can see i just kind of looped it down into it 
and it's kind of sticking out just enough that it holds it so it doesn't fall in the water. So now we're going to attach positive to positive. We'll go in for a closer shot now. Obviously, we've got our negative lead there. You're going to take our positive. You want to make sure these don't touch or else you will get an arc. And we'll just throw it in there. And you can see it's bubbling and it's changing colors. And once it's done, you're pretty much good. Um, you don't have to leave it in there for an extended amount of time. It's a very, very, very fast process. So now we're done bubbling. We can pull it out. We can pull it out and we'll throw it now into our clean water. So our regular just distilled water just to kind of rinse it off. And that's pretty much it as far as this goes. So next thing that I like to do is just unhook everything so that we don't have anything else going on because you are going to be draining your batteries pretty quickly because you're pulling straight current out of them. Bring this back, get this guy out. And as you can see, we have ourselves a blue anodized titanium pen cap. So be careful when you're cleaning it, make sure you clean it well. So you can see we have a little bit of a spotting there um, that can always be fixed. But for me, that's good enough. This is kind of experimenting in the garage, just seeing how it comes out. And then just dry it off because it will look a little bit different once it's dry. It's not going to look exactly the same. And that's pretty much that. Let's take a look in the light. So you can see that's kind of that same color blue that we have on the other thing. And we don't even have that spot anymore now that we've dried it off. So all together looks pretty pretty good so once you're uh done with the anodizing you can go ahead and reassemble whatever obviously uh this one they started out as this titanium this brushed glossy titanium and now obviously we have this blue color this anodized um this is a two sun pen it's got uh brass uh like extras to it so brass ring here brass bottom with some like knurling on it it's cool and then a carbon fiber chassis tube. And then it takes like these pilot refills. So we'll put it in there. We'll secure everything back down. And now I went from that kind of boring gray titanium to this super, super nice custom blue anodized titanium with the carbon fiber and the... Uh, Just looks super super nice this is really simple to do at home i'd recommend doing it especially right now filming this during the quarantine uh, from coronavirus i have nothing to do so i'll probably put out more videos just to doing different stuff like this on technology uh, just kind of everyday stuff so that's pretty much everything uh leave comments if you have any questions like i said this is my first time but i'm definitely going to be doing it on a lot more stuff um like comment, subscribe, do whatever, you know, and find me on my Instagram, edc underscore Jacob. And then that's pretty much it. Everybody have a good day. Stay safe out there.